Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from echomath.com. In this video we will be looking at a system of linear equations and solving for both variables. We begin with two equations, two linear equations to be a little bit more exact. The first one 3.5x plus 2.5y is equal to 17 and the second one, negative 1.5x minus 7.5y is equal to negative 33. Our strategy is going to be to cancel out one of the variables so that we can solve for the remaining one. And then using that information to again solve for the second variable. To do this, the easiest thing to do here is to create a scenario where we can actually add both of these equations and have one of the variables cancel out we will be focusing on the coefficients so we have to think for a second what can I do to make either one of these equations look differently or both of them to look differently so that one of the variables will cancel out in order for that the coefficient of one of the variables has to be negative but the other one has to be positive same value though but just negative and a positive you'll see what I mean in the next step so after some careful thought we can see that it would actually make sense to multiply everything in the top equation by the number 3. This gives us 10.5x plus 7.5y is equal to 51. And the second equation remains unchanged. Now notice that we have a positive 7.5y in the first one and a negative 7.5y in the second equation. This is the scenario I was talking about. This is what we wanted because now we're going to have to add these two equations and you'll see that these two will cancel out the 7.5y and the negative 7.5y. Remember, we're using the technique of adding these two to cancel out one of the variables and then using the remaining variable to solve and use that to get the other. Okay, in other words, here we're canceling out the y and then we're going to use the x and then using that x to find the y again. So we're adding and the 7.5 plus a negative 7.5 y cancel out. Well that leaves us with a 10.5 x is equal to 51 on the top and a negative 1.5 x is equal to a negative 33 on the, on the second equation. Now again remember we're adding so we're gonna go ahead and just draw a little line here so that it makes it a little bit easier to see and we're gonna add from top to bottom so 10.5 x plus a negative 1.5 x is equal to 9 x and on the right side a 51 plus a negative 33 is equal to 18 so we have here 9 x is equal to 18 a simple linear equation with one variable and we're just gonna go ahead and use basic arithmetic to find out what the x equals to. Alright, the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is divide both sides by 9. The 9x, the 9, the coefficient 9 cancels out with the 9 we're dividing and then we're going to go ahead and focus on the 18 divided by 9 and that gives us x equals 2. That's our first coordinate to our solution. When we're talking about linear equations, we're actually talking about a point where two lines are intersecting. That's the whole idea behind linear system of equations, or rather system of linear equations. So that means that we have now the x-coordinate of that point where these two lines meet. And that point is the solution to both of these equations. Now that we have the x-coordinate, now we need to find out the y. So we're actually going to have to plug in the x into one of these equations and then solve for y. It doesn't matter which one. Usually, you just pick whichever one is easier. Now, in this case, I would rather work with positive numbers instead of negative numbers, just because it's easier. But uh, it really doesn't matter. So, pick either one. Keeping things simple, I picked the first equation. I'm going to have to plug in what I found the x to be equal to into this equation here. Now we'll notice that this is the original unaltered equation. Why? Again, I'm keeping it I'm keeping it all simple, just doing it the easiest way possible here. 
So again, remember, I had discovered that x is equal to 2. So now I go ahead and replace the x in this original equation with the 2. That gives me 3.5 times 2 plus 2.5y is equal to 17. This gives me 7 plus 2.5y is equal to 17. This is nothing more than basic arithmetic, and my ultimate goal here is to find out what the y is equal to. So I'm solving for y. Now I'm going to go ahead and subtract 7 from both sides. And the uh, 7 cancels out in the left side. And I now have a 17 minus 7 on the right side. And that leaves me with 2.5y is equal to 10. Now I divide both sides by 2.5. The coefficient 2.5 from the 2.5y cancels out with the 2.5 I'm dividing on the left side. And now I have to divide 10 divided by 2.5 on the right side. All that leaves me with y is equal to 4. This is the second coordinate of the point that is the solution to the system of linear equations. So how would you write the solution? You could write it like this. You can simply say that x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 4, or you can write it as a point, which is probably more accurate to present it this way. You can say parentheses 2 comma 4, the x coordinate being the 2 and the y coordinate being the 4. So it's always a good idea to check your answer, even though we already found it, especially if you're taking a test, it's a very, very good idea to check your answer. Doesn't matter if you pick the top equation or the bottom equation, it doesn't matter, it should work either way but again I like to keep things simple so I'm gonna go ahead and use the top one to check my equal my answer here so I'm gonna use the top equation to check my answer so I'm gonna go ahead and just replace the X and the Y with the values I have found and this is gonna give me 3.5 times 2 plus 2.5 times 4 is equal to 17 that gives me 10 plus 7 is equal to 17 now here's the moment of magic. You should get the same number on the left side as the number on the right side. In this case, 17 should be equal to 17. And that's what I got here. 17 is equal to 17. So this is in fact true. So here I have a true statement, thereby my coordinates are correct. And therefore, that is the right answer. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this video really helped you and I hope you get better at math every day. Please rate this video, leave a comment, and visit my website echomath.com. Let me know how I'm doing. Thanks again.